All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. But first of all, shout to all of my gym stars. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video. No, it's been so crazy. I didn't even realize that tomorrow is Friday, and I've been putting out these joints. I haven't done anything for the shooters yet, especially I normally put out a jump shot uh, sometime this week. I actually need to go to the barbershop too, but uh, hey, it is what it is, man. Look here, I haven't done anything for the shooters this week, so I'm giving a I'm going I'm doing what I'm gonna call a total shooting guide. This guide, after you get through with it, you're gonna know what the best jump shots in the game are in a variety of different categories. You're gonna know what the best badges are. You're gonna know what the best secret two bases are in the game and all that good stuff, man. So, hey, let's rock with me and let's just get right into it, man. Look, right here is what I got for y'all guys, man. This is the, this is data from the NBA 2K Lab website. Um, what you're seeing right here, you're gonna see. This is shot speed. This is the green window. This is the green percentage. This is the make percentage. Knowing those things, what I'm going to do is rank these jump shots, and you're gonna see the top five jump shots in each category, um, and I'm gonna rank them by each category. So let's just start right here. NBA 2K Lab website, man, base 38. They say that base 38 is the fastest shot in the game. 555 milliseconds. So if you want a fast jump shot, this is the jump shot that you should be taking. Base 38. Fastest jump shot in the game. The second fastest jump shot in the game is base, is Ray Allen's base. 652. 652 milliseconds. That's the base that I use. Dante Exum. 652 milliseconds. It's the same as Ray Allen. You got base 29, which is 668 milliseconds. You've got base uh, Kobe. Kobe Bryant. I used to use this base. It's 680 milliseconds. Now, with the bases in the game, you cannot speed them up with other than quick draw. But there's one thing that you can do. Some of the releases that you mix together and place on these jump shots will speed them up, not dramatically, but as far as the tail goes. So if you put a faster release on there, it may be a few milliseconds, but it may make all of the difference. So bases are the most important part of the jump shot, but a cue that you can read or releases that you can read are just as important. I like to use the, the uh, releases 134 and 114 in tandem. The reason I do that is because it gives me a nice flat hand when his elbow hits, gives me a nice flat hand to look at and cue off of. You can mix those in any way that you want to and they will all, and no matter what jump shot I put it on, I can always give myself a nice flat hand to, to, to see where I need to let the ball go. And those are just two bonus bases. Base one third, I mean, um, releases 134 and 14. You also make a whole lot of whites with those too, man. But anyway, just knowing that, these are the fastest jump shots in the game. Right here. The jump shots with the biggest green windows. This is the next thing we're gonna look at. If you want a jump shot with a big green window and speed is not really a factor, these are the best jump shots to use. Base 115 has the biggest green window in the game. Base John Wall, 53 milliseconds. Second biggest. Base 65, 52 milliseconds. The third. The fourth is base 49, so that's why base 49 felt so good. The fifth is Kevin Love with 52 milliseconds. That actually is a, it's a big tie for there. And then base 98 has 51 milliseconds. So if you wanted to try to cross-reference something like that, base 98 is one of the fastest jump shots right it's one of the fastest jump shots and has one of the biggest green windows in the game the green percentage the the greenest jump shot in the game base 104 this jump shot will green more than any jumper in the game all right at 62 percent you're gonna shoot 62 percent greens this is if you got a 75 to a 90 uh three pointer or 70 we just say a 72 to a 90. we're gonna go over the 90 percent uh, the plus 90 jump shots in the second. Base 85, 62.4%. Base one, 61%. You, you green at 
uh, John Wall, you green at 60%. Base 61, you green at 59%. Something that you may be noticing is the slower jump shots have a bigger green window and they also have a bigger, um, you know, a bigger green percentage. Base 98, it greens at 58%, just in case you were wondering. This is why base 98 is widely regarded as one of the best in the game. Last but not least, make percentage. This is all I care about. I don't care about them greens as much, but I do care how much I make it. Base 85, most the biggest make percentage in the game at 81%. Base 49, 79%. Base 104, the greenest in the game has a 80, a 78% make percentage. Uh, base 35, 78 make percentage. Base 61 is 78 make percentage you got all you got access to all this information if you just go to the nba 2k lab website and see these things for yourself you got to become a premium member become a premium member you can get all of the jump shots you can see everything so that was if you have a 70 or so um if you got a 70 what do you call it a 70 um a 70 three point rating that's what you're going to be hitting at now we're going to go to the part that everybody wants to know we're going to go to the 90 percent 90 make percentage i mean the 90 uh the 90 if you, if you got a jump shot if you got a rating of 90 dang i can't even talk today I'm trying to give y'all all this information in a short amount of time and it's messing with me i'm just trying to see how much time i got but anyway i guess y'all really don't care look if you got a 90 plus rating the fastest jump shot in the game is base 38 steel a lot of things don't change look at this base 38 eggs on kobe um, you know, base base 98 and Trey Burke. This is what you got. The greenest in the game for you. If you want, if you want the greenest jump shot in the game, you got over a 93 point rating. Um, 57 milliseconds. Base 38 again is up there. D Lillard become it, it comes into the mix. Uh, base 115, base 65, and look, base 98, 51 milliseconds. A lot of things change as your as your uh, rating changes. All right, now, the greenest jump shot in the game for if you have over a 93 point rating is base 98. Zach Levine, we already went over Zach Levine in a previous video, 115, Exum, and then you got Trey Burke. All these things, all these, I mean, you can look at, you can read the rest of them. If there's more up there, you can read them your damn self. I'm not, I'm just going over the top five. And last but not least, base 11, yo, even though base 11 really doesn't show up on any list on any other list as being the most it's here consistently it makes at 96.5 percent my god 96.5 do you understand how much that is do you see what i'm trying to tell you zach levine 96.0 percent make uh base 98 98 now uh 96 percent now this is from last time base base um that's the last time. Curry is greening it. I mean, it's making at 95%. Little is making at 95%. Burke is making at 95%. So you understand what I'm saying? This is the basis that you gotta have first. You're not going to be able to just go out there and shoot the ball like you want to because the game is not written like that. Let's look at base 11. I'm gonna look at base 11 real quick as far as make percentage for somebody that's got a 70 or uh, 73. And uh, base 11, it makes it 74% for somebody. So I may, I'm, if y'all want me to do a jump shot with base 11, y'all let me know. But um, that's the first thing you gotta know. Tons of information there. Go to NBA 2K Labs, buy the premium subscription, and get all the inf get all access to all of this stuff. I just wanted to show you guys that every jump shot is not created equal, regardless of what 2K tries to tell you. It's stupid that the game is like that, but there are bases that just make at better percentages and they have different shot speeds and all that. All that's well and good. Now, as far as what badges you need to be running, the badges that you need to run are completely contingent upon what type of player you are. I am a player that sits in the corner and I, I got a shooting center and I got a, um, I'm an off ball player. I'll just say it like that. I sit in the corner and wait for my shot. So when that ball comes, I'm needing to shoot the ball and I want my shot to have the highest percentage to go in. You may only get two or three shots a game. I'm gonna go through the shooting badges real quick that I run and why I run them, and then I'll tell you about the other shooting badges. Um, look here, check it out. So here we go. Catch and shoot, 
Probably the most important bass because every time I shoot the ball, I'm gonna be catching and shooting. If things go correctly, I'm always gonna be catching and shoot. We got catch and shoot. I got that on goal. I could put it on Hall of Fame. I don't put it on Hall of Fame because I didn't see much of a difference. Corner specialist, I got it on goal. I know 2K Labs say you can get away with it on silver, but every shot I take is gonna be from the corner. And there's no point in me putting this on silver when I, I myself, with the 73 point rating, I feel a difference. So that's why I have it on go. Hot zone hunter, if you don't got hot zones, don't start out with this bands. If you do have hot zones, start out with this bands. This is what I normally do. I normally do it like this because my quick draw, my quick draw on this game, um, because I'm a center, it's gonna be a little bit slower. Uh, and you know, if I get the ball in time, I can get the shot off anyway. Nobody's really gonna be bearing down upon me or any of that stuff. But sometimes my shot is too slow, so sometimes I go gold quick draw. Sometimes I go gold hot zone hunter. It just really depends. Range extender gotta be on Hall of Fame if you're a shooter. That's an absolute must. You must have that on Hall of Fame. These are the core badges that I feel like every shooter should have if you're an off-ball player. If you're an on-ball player, you might want to have, uh, like, pick and pop. Let me show you the bot badges in here. Clutch shooter, bot badge. To me, this is to me now, deep fades, bot badge. Um, I mean, and when I say a bot badge, it's a badge that they put in the game to try to fool you into using your points on, but you really don't need. Ice in your veins, bot badge. Slippery off-ball, bot badge. Uh, you might be able to use it now and break people's ankles now that, now that the actual off-ball movement is better. I'll check that out and get back to y'all on that. Hot start is a good badge. Green machine is a good badge. Uh, flexible release bot badge. Uh, some people use flexible release and it works for them. It doesn't work for me. And I green too many shots to worry about it. So I'm not even going to trip on if I miss. I make a lot of whites anyway, so it's all good. Uh, pick and popper. Uh, it's not worth using a badge on unless I have the badges. Pump fake maestro bot badge because I ain't got the I don't have the stuff to use it on. Steady shooter. Uh, some people said they have success. I don't shoot contested shots, so to me it's a bot badge. That's just to me. Tired the shooter. I never shoot when I'm tired. I don't I don't play on ball. If you play on ball, then you probably need volume shooter, tired the shooter, um, green machine. And you could probably use like hot start. Now, maybe if I were to put myself on hot start, because hot start improves the ability, the ability, uh, what let me say it. Improves players shooting ability after making first shot until a miss occurs. So if, if I put on hot start, maybe I should put on hot start like this. Since since my um since all I'm gonna do is shoot a couple of shots a game. But I feel like this is better because if I'm only gonna shoot a couple of shots, see the reason I don't put on hot start, I'm only gonna shoot maybe one or two or three shots a game in the park. Green machine don't kick in until after the third shot. So I don't need that. Volume shooter kicks in after a few shots. I I, I mean, every, the more shots you take, the better your chances get. I don't shoot a whole lot. Now, if you're an on ball person and you're gonna be shooting, you need volume shooter. You need tire shooter. You need um, green machine. You need you know, you don't need clutch shooter. You might need hot start. If you feel like you can hit your first one, you know, like that. But if you don't take many shots and you're a guy that's just gonna sit in the corner and it's more important that you make the few shots that you get than it is to make a lot of shots, this is the badge configuration for you. Hot zone hunter, the reason I always say use hot zone hunter uh, is this. Because this is a stat, this is something that a hot zone hunter and corner specialist. A lot of people don't know about this. Um, hot zone hunter and corner specialist. I don't want no Dwight Howard, man. Where am I? Well, where am I? I don't care about them. Here we go, Jay Easy. Boom. The thing that you don't realize is this. You see that corner? That corner specialist badge will give you a hot zone from the corner all the way up to the hash. I don't even think I got no. I don't even shoot the ball that much. I played a lot of games, man, and messed around and and uh, got a cold spot. I don't even know how that cold spot got there because I don't even shoot from over there that much. Or uh, maybe that's why it's a cold spot now, I don't know. But anyway, look, it gives you, corner specialists will give you your uh, your hot spot all the way up to the hash. So use corner specialists first. That's why that, that badge is paramount first. Once it becomes a hot zone, you double down on it and you use hot zone hunter. And then after that, you're good to go. That's why I use the badges that I use. I just feel like it's more important for me to make the shots that I take than for me to rely on taking a lot of shots. Because like I said, if you're a center, if I'm a center and I'm shooting from the corner and I'm shooting from over there, they're not gonna leave my point guard alone until I prove that I can make a shot. 
Once I prove that I can make a shot, they're going to leave him alone. And maybe I only got to take two or three shots a game, but it's just very important that I make those shots. It's more important that I make my shots dang near than it is for the point guard because he's going to get his shots. But with me only getting two or three shots a game, that might be a dot that we need to go up in the game. That could be, you know, something that's going to swing it to where, oh, he, I can't I can't go out there on him no more. If you, And then, then on top of that, if people get to the point where they just want to just leave you open, you got to be able to make your shots. That's why I use the stuff that I use, man. I just feel like it's very important. It's more important to make the shots than to gamble on other things. And I just like to go with the sure stuff, man. I think that's all I got for y'all, man. I had the badges. And let me show y'all with this guy, man. This is what I got. That's it right there, man. And if I can show you my neighborhood stats, then that way y'all can, yeah, here we go, VIP stats. Look here, hold up. That's not gonna really show me, right? Uh, can I show y'all from here? If I look on the phone, phone, nah, you can't see yourself, can you? Dag nabbit, I forgot how I do this, man, so I can show y'all what I'm actually shooting in the park. It could be, it could be neighborhood stats, man. It could be neighborhood. Let's go, let's go VIP stats, man. Uh, nope, it doesn't show. It doesn't show. Uh, and I don't want to be wasting y'all's time. Let's see. Boom, 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 my minutes. I don't want to waste y'all time too much, man. But here we go, NBA Park. I think it's here. Here we go. This is what I shoot like. Y'all can see. I shot one for 10 over the last few games, but then I shot 81%. Oh, that's over 25 games, man. I might have missed one or two or something like that. You just don't never know with this game. I know I ain't missed no talk on <laughs> shoot one for 10 from over there. But anyway, look at where I'm shooting from everywhere else over the last 25 games. 18 to 22. Like, in the paint, 17 to uh, 22. Like, like I, I, don't, I don't know, man. Like, I'm just trying to prove the point that I'm trying to prove. I don't know what that's about over there. Look at Pro-Am, the same thing. 12 out of 17. This last night. I only played Pro-Am last night. 12 out of 17 from over there and 6 out of 14 over here. So 42% from the left, 70% from the right. Like I said, I, I don't I, I don't know, man. It is what it is. And then, uh, you know, like I said, it's just more, more important that you shoot your shots and hit the shots that you're taking than it is for you to rely on taking a lot of shots because you're probably not going to get that many shots. But anyway, that's been your total shooting guide, man. I hope everything I, I said made sense. I did not mean to run this video out this long, but I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. Make sure you subscribe for more daily 2K content. And, um, oh yeah, if you're having trouble shooting and you want to make a custom shot, jump shot 10, I mean, set shot 10 and set shot 24 are awesome jump shots to start off with. If you don't know how to shoot, you're having trouble shooting, Start off with those, do those, and you should be good to go. And I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Gosh, speak!